So some people have had some concern about the Messenger app for Facebook, that it kind of made them download it and they're not happy about it because it is asking for permissions to do things that they're not really comfortable with. Well, you can still give permissions to do this, but you can turn off most of the ability of the app to use those permissions. So if you just want to use the Messenger as a messenger without all the bells and whistles, you can simply turn off the permissions within the phone itself. This is for an iPhone. Uh, I personally use an iPhone 5S, but I believe it's the same on all of the iPhone devices. Well, let's get started. So you would go over to your settings icon and scroll down to privacy. Within privacy, you can see there are a bunch of options. Number one, some people are afraid that the app will use your microphone and if you don't want it to do that well you can shut it off and if you want to you can shut it off for Facebook also for good measure if you're really worried about it then you can go back a screen you can also say oh I don't want them to get in contact with my contacts again same thing just shut it off on messenger and there are, if you don't want it to share any photos you could do the same thing go into photos shut it off for messenger yeah, you can shut off for Facebook too again if you're that you know worried about it shut it off that way now with that said there's also another thing that a lot of people don't know about the iPhone it's new with uh, one of the versions of iOS 7 if you go into general they have something here called background app refresh and what this means is if you're allowing the app to be used even when you shut it down so it's still going to track activity and things like that even after you shut the app down from the double click screen so if you do the double click of your home button here and it goes to this page and you grab it and shut off the app it will still actually work so this is something that um, people may be afraid of well you can go over to the messenger and simply shut it off you can do the same for any of the apps that you have running that you really don't want them to have access to like I'll shut off DirecTV because I don't need it if I'm not using it and that will help save battery life and it also keep your phone more secure from any um, outside information being leaked out of your phone well that's about it this should work for the iPads, the iPod Touches, the iPhones, um, as long as you're running iOS 7 or higher. This should all kind of fall into place. Well, hopefully this helps somebody, and if it did, just leave a comment in the bottom. I appreciate it. Have a great day.